you probably already know that using secure passwords is no longer optional. Every website that you use must have a unique password different from all others, and you're probably also a little bit overwhelmed in how do I manage all of these passwords? When the most secure password that you can use is just a random string of letters, numbers, special characters, how are you supposed to remember that when the average person manages access to 75 different websites and all of those are supposed to have different passwords? Writing them down in a book when you've got, you know, 16, 24, or even 32 character long passwords and then typing those in each time on all your different devices is a nightmare. Well, my name is Ellis Benes, founder of Floating Axe Technologies. We do website design, digital marketing and development and we help small businesses to medium sized businesses manage stuff like this and also the digital presences. And I've got a super simple way that you can do this where you will only have to remember one password for the rest of your life and you will never have to worry about this again. It'll be super secure you can generate 32 character long, completely random gobbledygook passwords for every website that you use, one for each website so that you never have to worry about your information getting out there. And I'll make it super easy for you to do that. So the way that we do that is with a completely free and open source, incredibly secure software package called KeePass. It's K-E-E-P-A-S-S. -S. I'm going to walk you through the process of exactly how I manage this, how I do it myself, and how you can do it. And you will never have to type in another password except for the one to access your secure KeePass file. You may be wondering, like, okay, how secure is this? They use what's over 1,024 4-bit encryption. Using a standard computer, it would probably take about a hundred years to brute force where they just guess and random guess to get into that password. So if you use one secure password to get into that file, you can keep all the rest of yours in this one piece of software that you can use on any device, whether it's Windows or Apple, and on any software platform, which can include all of your mobile devices. So phone, computer, tablet, multiple different computers. It doesn't matter. This is the exact method I use, and I'm going to walk you through how to do that today. I'm going to disappear from the screen here, and I'm going to walk you through the rest of what we're going to do today. First, you're just going to Google the word KeePass. So it's K-E-E. P-A-S-S, -S, and then this is the little logo that you're looking for. You're going to go to either their main website or you can click on downloads. I'm going to go to their main website to make your life a little easier. You're going to find the download section. Don't let the old nature of the website scare you off. This is still an incredibly secure software that is updated very regularly and it will work on every single one of your devices. So first we're just going to download that software now. It's going to take you to a new place. Again, don't feel like you're being uh, ripped off or, or redirected to any place incorrectly. SourceForge is an incredibly secure uh, place that you can uh, download stuff from that they even scan to make sure that everything is safe. So we're going to download this software. We'll be able to see whenever it's done. It's a really small package, so it's not going to take very long for that to happen. And then when it's done, we're going to find it, and then we're going to go ahead and start the installation process. After the file downloads, you'll just have to double click on it and it's going to take you through a series of prompts. You just say, yes, I agree, English, accept, you can accept all of this stuff, click next, leave this checkbox checks with associate it, which is what this is the KDBX file that it's going to wind up generating in the end. And then you simply say install. The process is very quick. It's a really small piece of software. And then at the end, you're just going to say launch key pass and it's going to open the program. Here we go, the software is going to open and this is the home screen of KeePass. The first thing that we're going to do is click new up here. You can also go file new. It's going to say, yes, you want to create a new database. This database is what stores all of our passwords in that super secure encrypted format. I'm going to click OK. You're going to save it to your, your desktop. You can name this whatever you want. You can just leave it database. I name it my own personal name just because I don't have many other files named with my own name. And it makes it super simple to search for whenever we have it uh, listed in, in a big list of files. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop for now and we'll talk about where to save that later. Whenever this comes up, it's going to ask you to fill out a master password. Now this is really the only super secure password that you need to remember. So it is important that you use a password that's a, a you know, list of numbers and letters and all kinds of different stuff, right? But it also has to be something that you can remember and you can type. The good news is when you type this in a little bit over time, then it's going to get a lot easier for you to remember that. So like, 
here's a crazy example of one that you can use. I can't show you my personal one, but this is, I've got a good idea for you. Call me pound sign, right? So make up anything. You can do like a little bitty, like a little story or whatever works. Uh, this is something else. This is actually with all of the, uh, I think vowels removed. It's a little red riding hood went on a long walk at the woods holding three baskets, right? So <laughs> this is kind of a crazy example, but if you can make up a little story, something that's going to be easy for you to remember again, then you can see here the, the difference in the quality in terms of how secure that password is going to be. The longer you can make it, the more complicated you can make it where you can still remember, then that's going to be really beneficial. Again, this is the only one of those complicated passwords you're ever going to have to remember. All you have to do from this point forward is remember that one password, and then you'll be able to get into all the other ones later on. So I'm going to stick with the little red riding hood example here. I'm going to click OK. You can call the database name, whatever we're going to start off with. We'll just say passwords for now. Again, you can call this whatever you want. Most of the rest of this, you can just leave completely default. So the security, it's got the different uh, database file encryption algorithms, the compression, which makes it smaller or not smaller, the recycle bin, which is actually inside of KeePass where you can delete it or not delete it. And then there's some other features, but we don't need to uh, delve into that right now. I'm going to click OK. It's going to say you can print an emergency sheet, which actually contains all the information required to open your database, which is basically just you have to download the software, you have to remember the password, etc. I'm not going to do that for right now because I don't need to. All right, now by default, you can see here's the name of our database, and they've automatically given us a few different folders. You can create extra folders inside of here. So for example, you can just add a group, and maybe you say like bills, right? You can choose the icon. So maybe you want to choose the money icon or whatever. They've got a list of them in here and you can find one that fits. Here's the money icon. I click OK, click save. And now I've got a new folder. So you can put these in whatever category you want. You can also just stick the whole thing in one big folder and not worry about it. But again, you can imagine that we could easily have like social media bills. We could have personal stuff. I even keep track of like my kids' social security numbers and other stuff like that in here. Again, I know that it's safe to do that because these files are so heavily encrypted and I know that I'm using a secure password for this key pass that I'm never going to have to worry about somebody hacking this. The next thing that you can do is like, let's say I'm going to go into bills. You can either right click on here and say add an entry. You can hit click control I. You can also come up here and say entry, add entry. There's a couple different ways to do the same thing. I'm just going to do add entry. So I'm just going to say bank, right? Then we're going to put in my username and then here's where key pass really shines. And this is what really makes your life a lot easier. You can click show hide and see what this does, but you can choose from this drop menu and you can say open password generator. And so for example, like if you ever have a situation where they say, oh, well, you can only have 18, then you can choose that. But what we want to do is wherever they allow us to, we're going to want to always have uppercase, lowercase digits checked. And then if they allow us, we're going to leave this special checked. Most of the rest of these are not allowed, like these extra brackets, spaces, and then these Latin characters. So these are the ones that you're going to want to select. I always want to make this number as high as I'm allowed to, but again, some websites restrict that, and so you can change it in here, and then you'll just click OK, and then you can see here, you just say, uh, open the password generator, click OK, and then boom, it's going to generate that password. Then you can copy and paste that into the website where you're having to keep track of it. Another nice cheat is right over here, it says 24 characters, so if you don't want to like open the password generator and change that each time, let's say it says 18, you can see I can backspace here, and then I know that I'm down to 18 characters. You can also put the URL in here, so you're like HTTPS mybank.com, and then that allows you to save the link in there. And there's a notes section, which is incredibly useful because let's say you can say my account number, right? You can put that in there. Maybe there's a pin number that you need to track. Maybe there's a person you always talk to at the bank and you can put their information in here. Again, I even utilize this to manage all of my personal affairs when it comes to my kids' social security numbers, all of their information that comes with healthcare, et cetera, et cetera. You can put all of those in the notes section and then click OK. Another really awesome feature is you can right click on here and say perform auto type. So this is great where you open the website and you need to type in your information. You can just say perform auto type and it'll automatically paste your username 
and automatically paste your password into the correct fields. It doesn't always work. Some people restrict access to being able to do that on there. So you can also just right click and say copy username, right click and copy password. One cool thing is you'll see this bar down here that slowly disappears. It says the keyboard, I'm sorry, the clipboard is going to be cleared after 12 seconds. When this disappears, you're no longer able to paste that. That gives you added security. It deletes everything that was in your clipboard to make sure that no other program can gain access to your information. One of my other favorite features of this is you can set expiration dates on here. So for example, maybe your bank requires you change this every three months. It has this in here. And on top of that, it also has a history. So right now that's empty because I haven't changed it. But let's say I'm going to save my database. I'm going to come back in here and my bank says, hey, you need to change this password again. So I'm going to say, okay, open password generator. I have to have 18, go. It saves it. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to save it. Well, if I open that entry again, I can come back over here into history and it actually remembers what those previous passwords were. So if you accidentally deleted one, cleared it out, generated a new one and you didn't mean to, you can actually receive that from here and even restore an old one. This has come in handy for me several different times. So you can also click here and see it revealed if you just need to copy and paste it. That way it's not just hidden or obfuscated from you. But you can see how quickly you can add these things. You can generate secure passwords. So you come in here and you say, hey, I need to track Facebook, right? You can change the icon to whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. So my Facebook username, and then you can come over here, reveal. It's already going to, by default, fill in a few of those. I like to use that password generator to make sure, like, hey, I, I can ratchet this up to 24, keep all of these things special, click OK, and boom, I've got my secure password. I click OK, and I save this entry. Super, super simple to use. You can generate gigantic passwords. You can keep them categorized. You can search for them up here so that if you can't remember, you know, say type in bank. Well, boom, there's my bank. If I type in sample, you can see it shows me sample entries that are listed here. And you can keep on going to keep things as organized as you want, or you just put them all in a giant bucket and then you're able to, to search for them later. Now, where this really starts to shine and really starts to make your life better is the fact that you know this password file, the KDBX file, is encrypted at an incredibly high level. That means you can feel confident to put this in a place that you can update it and change it and it will be copied across all of your different devices. So for example, the most common places that you would use this is Google Drive in uh, box.com, dropbox.com, Microsoft's OneDrive, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Normally you would be scared to put your passwords into another service that's listed online, but because you know that the KeePass file is so super secure, you don't have to be concerned with this. Myself, personally, I keep this in a Google Drive document. I, I keep it in my Google Drive folder because Google Drive then synchronizes to my phone, my tablet, and any other computer that I might use. So as long as I remember that one single password to access this KeePass file, I can be confident in knowing that I'm gonna be able to access all of my passwords. Even better than that, no matter what device you're on, Android, iPhone, tablet, phone, computer, laptop, whatever, whenever you change this file and then you save the entry, when you're saving that into Dropbox or Google Drive, OneDrive, wherever, this is going to automatically update to all of your other devices. So for example, if I'm, I'm on my phone, I have to download a new app, do something for a client, do something for myself, I can save that password on my device, on my phone, and the next time I open this on my computer, I will know that because that is synchronized across whichever platform that you want to use, I know then that I'm able to access and I've got the newest version of that and vice versa. I put the information in here and then I can pull it up on my phone. I'm just going to say exit and then that's going to close the software out and then let's switch back over here to KeePass. You'll also see here contributed or unofficial KeePass ports. This is where you're going to know that you're going to find those different pieces where you can actually put these on your other devices. So personally, I use KeePass Droid because it's for Android, but then you can also see these other ones. And basically the only difference here is the way the interface looks. I would just find the highest rated one of these on your platform, whether it's iPhone, Macintosh, whatever, download that one and then you can use it. Again, the way that you do that is you just are going to open this program on your phone, 
then you're going to navigate to whatever the, the share system that you're using. Like I said, Google Drive, Dropbox, whatever. Find the file on there. You type in that same password. And then what's super cool is you can do the same copy and paste thing right from inside of that device, right inside of the program on the device into whatever platform, whether it's an installed app, whether it's your, your bank's website, whether it's a social media platform, it doesn't matter. You know that you're going to have those all in the same place and it'll make your life really, really easy. I really hope this guide has been something really easy for you to digest. I've been using this system for over 10 years, and it's just so nice to know whether I'm on my phone, tablet, main computer, laptop, or even if I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I need to download this file to get some passwords, I can install the software and gain access to whatever I need, even if I'm on a, an unfamiliar computer. Also knowing that when I delete that file from that un, unknown, you know, the random computer that you might be using, I know that all of my passwords are secure. They go with that file. This is really the only way to handle secure passwords in the world that we live in today. Just remember that one secure password. Make up something. It's going to be hard, and it's going to be really difficult to remember for a little bit, but write it down on your piece of paper and just type it in over time, and eventually it'll be something that'll be second nature to you. And again, it's going to make your life so much easier, so much more secure that It'll be worth it in the end, I promise. If you have a small to medium-sized business, you need help with website design, digital marketing, anything. We do social media management, search engine optimization. If it's digital and then some, we really do it at Floating X Technologies. Again, my name is Ellis Bennis. Thank you so much for taking the time. I really do hope this makes your life easier, keeps you more secure on the web. With the world that we live in today with all the security breaches and information lost, if you do a unique password for every single website that you use, then even even if one of them gets hacked, you'll know that all the rest of them are safe. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a blessed day.